everyone, Ellie Diecast again, and we got a box of kind of random stuff to take a look at. I think I know what most of this stuff is. Um, some of this stuff took some some looking at to figure out. Uh, anybody know what that guy is? It's a weird looking one, huh? Certainly tuned out. Usually the tuned ones are squished. This guy's kind of squished this way instead of that way. <laughs> FWPD. What does FW stand for? This is Fury World. And yes, it is fast and furious. Although that car does not look so fast or furious. It's Fury World. The very short-lived and maybe not such a good idea line of cars. And I think this was kind of supposed to be a take on taking fast and furious and and kind of uh, exaggerating the cars out for the kids. Um, these cars show up every once in a while, and they're not particularly collectible, although they don't go cheap if you want them new and in package. They uh, just weren't out very long. So yeah, Fury World. Um, they do roll well, and I'm not sure it's really politically correct here. We've got the Popo Rider. <laughs> So, anyways, that is Fury World. There he goes. So, that's the only one of those that showed up in the, in the bin. So, we do have a couple carded ones here, and I've lost my, here it is. I was going to say I lost my little, uh, my little stand here. There we go. So, we've got some, some speed fleets. Let's take a look at those first. These guys show up every once in a while. Um... Speed Fleet series. Probably best known for the only series where the Hot Wheel car was facing the opposite direction, or at least one of the only ones. I shouldn't say only one, but one of the only ones. And uh, Solaire CX4 on this one. That's the Speed Fleet version. Take a look at the back on these. It shows all the cars that were part of your Speed Fleet. 1989, so these go back a ways. Some very cool cars in there. Available summer, fall, 1989. Speed Fleet. Here's another one. I do like this car. Not a whole lot you can do with it. It's the uh, Tricar X8 or Times 8. I'm not sure which. There was kind of a lot of uh, exaggerated models in this one. Here's another three wheeled car. Not so good for the track. XT3. Here's our favorite treasure hunt. The Fangster in green this time. Andrew really wants this one. I'm probably going to give it to him. <laughs> he loves the Fangsters. If you wonder why they keep making Fangsters, my kid loves them. He might be the only one buying them, but we've invested heavily in Fangsters. Oh, that's not a uh, speed fleet. Sorry about that. That's a blue card. Classic Ferrari blue cards so that one's 10 points can cash in my points <laughs> so back of the card just to give you an idea of the the time frame on these I'm looking for the time frame myself on them let's see it is it is I don't see it 1990 yeah so right around the same time as those speed fleets we saw more blue cards. Gotta love the blue cards. I pretty much just pick the blue cards up when I see them. Turbo Streak in yellow. Lexus SC400. This is about the fifth one of these that we've seen lately. The Mercedes uh, 380 SEL. I'm trying to fix my white balance there a little bit. There you go. Oh, another classic Ferrari. We got two of those. I think they're the same. I'll put that up because I don't have another car in my hand. Gotta get it. GT Racer. That's a nice one. Kind of odd that you can't see in it. It has a solid windshield. Oh, that's. I gotta get a, Gotta get away from the classic Ferrari. Sorry about that. Talbot Lago. 
This one in very sparkly red. Looks like fingernail polish glitter. That thing is so sparky, sparkly, or sparky, depending on what you want to call it. Here's a gold stepper. This one's an interesting one. This one came in a lot of varieties. And right next to it, I saw this one. And you saw these in Moods packet. You'll know they are opposites. See the red? Black is opposite picked up four of them. My good buddy Moods bought two of them. I'm going to keep two for the time being until they until they sell. I, I never really keep anything. It just comes and goes. <laughs> they come in. I keep them around a while. They sell. I buy more. Ferrari 348. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Blue card. Here's another one, the Aero Flash. Boy, this glitter series. I don't see them a lot, and I pick them up every time I see them. And I don't know why. I just am, am enthralled with that series. I just think that's a really interesting way to decorate die cast with that patterned kind of work. We haven't seen that much at all lately. Here's the Dark Rider series. These are kind of cool. They were all black. Silhouette 2. Dark Rider. I know there's some other Dark Riders here. Oh, these are not blue cards anymore, by the way. We've moved out of them for this box. Pearl Driver Series, the Jaguar XJ220. This guy could be in the Dark Rider Series, but he's too cool. He didn't want to be in the Dark Rider Series. He is the 93 Camaro. This one's kind of got like a sparkle paint on it. It's kind of cool. It doesn't It's not going to show up in the video, but very cool. Most of these are going to be, what, about 19. Uh, this card, this card came out 93, 4. I'm going to say 1996. 1996-ish. <laughs> uh, this one's interesting. We saw this a few video go, videos ago, but remember I told you, it um, if it didn't have the chromed engine, if it had the plain engine, it'd be worth more. And there's one with the plain engine. Now, kind of interesting. Uh, according to Southwest Diecast, this one's supposed to have a chrome interior, and the engine is supposed to be plain. But I think they're all one piece, so I'm not sure if that's a misprint or how that would actually be. But this one is different than the other one we saw in that it has the plain engine, not chromed. Dark Rider. That's a cool one. Dark Rider 2. They're not even original Dark Riders. Thunderstreak. And his buddy, Street Beast. Street Beast and Thunderstreak are going to be cruising the, the alleys at night. <laughs> I guess that's what Dark Riders do. There's, there's a Street Beast. Street Beast, yep. BMW A50i. We've seen this guy a couple times lately. It's kind of a common one. 10 points. wonder if I could go knock on Mattel's door and cash in my points. <laughs> Race Team Series 3. The first two were so successful. That's the 80s Corvette. That is a nice car. This one has the, uh, the canister in the back. If you can see it, that canister comes and goes on this casting. I don't think it makes this one worth anymore, but uh, kind of cool. I do like, for uh, a few years, Hot Wheels would put these little, they were like little fortune cookie notes on the bottom of the cars, and they're they're kind of humorous to, to read. This one's got Hot Wheels graphics. This one's got side scoops. Look, it's got side scoops. Jaguar XJ220. Boy, we see a lot of these. This was a popular model there for for a few years for, for Hot Wheels. 67 Camaro with its black stripes. Hood opens. Does the hood open? Yep, the hood opens. I'm not going to open it, but the hood opens. Buick Wildcat. Real car. No little saying down here for it. So, Pontiac Salsa. It's a funny looking little car. They, um, 
blocked out the windshield. They did this when they were trying to cut costs and they blocked out some of the windshields and nobody probably particularly likes them when they got blocked out windshields. The Pontiac Salsa. So funny story, I went to Toys R Us yesterday and I don't go to Toys R Us a lot but we had to get backpacks for for Andrew for school and they were having a, a sale. Here's a Fiero 2M4. Um, and I looked through the cars because I've been trying to get enough from Toys R Us to get the Jeep uh, mail in and I ain't going to get there. Toys R Us around here is just has nothing. And I'll be lucky if I end up with six cars by the deadline. Everything's been picked over. But um, uh, I found a, it was a La Ferrari, the silver one that came in the um, M case, I think. And I think I have one, and there's nothing special about the car in particular. It's just, it's a car that's been a little bit harder to find around here. It's not, I don't think it's worth anything in particular. It's just collectors grab them. And so I didn't know if I had it or not. And for a buck, I threw it in the cart. Figure it'll count towards my 20 cars. I go out in the parking lot on the way out, and this little kid comes up who I had seen looking for cars. And he couldn't have been any more than probably seven years old or something. And he um, asked my wife, because I was kind of trailing behind doing stuff on my phone. And he asked my wife, he said, oh, I see you're a, and I remember this is a seven-year-old. I see you're a Hot Wheels collector. Uh, you have a La Ferrari. Can I buy it from you? And uh, he wanted to buy it from my wife, who probably would have gladly just sold it to him for nothing. She doesn't really care about Hot Wheels. <laughs> 80s Firebird. This one has the... Uh, tampo there in the window and so long story short he asked if he could buy it he wanted to buy it for two bucks i just gave it to him <laughs> I, I don't i wasn't going to make a profit off it i didn't care about that if a kid wants the car he should have the car so anyways he got the car he was very happy and uh anyways kind of a funny story because i thought he was going to sell me candy bars or something just for his church group so he got his car uh 96 first editions this one boy i like this car i got a lot of these i just love that car dodge charger daytona 1970 that's the same same year that the superbird came out remember the story on the superbird was they really only put the superbird in production um selling off lots so they could race in nascar and this was the car that they were competing against so that's why they look very similar Um, I shouldn't say competing against. This was the car that uh, they were working from. I guess that's more properly the way to put it. But they do look very similar. I just love both those cars. Can you imagine parking that car today? Like taking that into a mall parking garage? You would wipe out everything around it. That is a long car. <laughs> you would just destroy everything in that parking garage with that car. Earth Mover. These big um, construction vehicles are kind of rare. They don't show up much in my lots. And then this guy I was kind of excited about. He's the last car for this video. And that is a command tank. Again, not really worth anything. I'm not sure who the night force are. Isn't that a lot like the sea police? We could, like who oversees night force? <laughs> I think that belongs in the same category as sea police. But uh this is the command tank and the gun turret turns. Um, yeah, I'm not sure who, who has purple and black on their tanks. That's not the scariest color. So, so that's going to do it for this video. Um, we do have some big news coming about the store and the website. And I know some of you have already emailed me about it and you've kind of figured it out what's going on. I'm going to announce that in the next video or two. Also, I will be doing a video. I won Mr. Sensitivity's uh, custom contest uh, with my Torino custom. So we're going to do a video on that. So we've got some things going on. Uh, we'll see you all later. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.